Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In last session, we learned how we can create the site collection using Power Automate. And in this session, I'm going to create sub sites using Power Automate. So in one of my comments where one of my friends asked me to create sub sites, he want to have that video in place. So for that sake, I'm creating this video. So it will be a quick one. So I'm there in my Power Automate uh, homepage. And I'll be going to my flows and uh, let me just go back to my list so this is the same list which I use to create the site collection so I'll be using to the same list to create my the sub sites under this specific site only so this is having title site URL this owner field we don't require because uh, this would actually inherit the same permission of the parent site and the site description we're going to use it so let's go back to a power automate and now I am creating one instant cloud flow. I am skipping the trigger because I am going to find out from here when an item is created. I am choosing my site which is my SPFX site and under this I'll be choosing the same list which we used for site collection requests so though you can name it as is you want because probably like uh, you may have some feature for example you are maintaining all your projects inside one uh, specific list and creation of one project or any approval of one project you would like to create that specific subsite for that project so that's a scenario where you can have that um, uh, in place so in next step I'll be using send an HTTP request to SharePoint and I'll be using the same site and in method I'll be using post in URI I'll be using the web add web information add URI so I have just already copied that in one of the notepad so this is my URI which I am going to use. So it's an API slash web slash web info add. So it's, it will add the a new web to the existing your site. And under the headers, uh, I'll be copying this. And you can also, so you, you must be seeing that I am using application JSON or data bubbles, but you can also use the no metadata stuff. But uh, we would be passing few metadata parameters to the port to our body, so that's why I'm using this uh, header type. Copy pasting it. This all header and uh, body information I'll be pasting in comments so that you can directly pick, pick it from there. And under body, I have already written the body as well. So under body. I'll be pasting out this parameters so I'll explain what these parameters would be so you can see under type is SP web information creation because we are going to create this sub site in URL I'll be removing this all stuff because uh, this is copied from site collection one so in URL will be having just name of that site because uh, we already have the absolute URL and it will create the sub site with this site URL and in title you can have title from your list as we did last time all right so these are the dynamic fields which I uh, fast from the list so if for your sake I can just remove it once and I can just click and start typing over here so this site URL I'll get like this so I have all my uh, fields which are required there to create the sub site I can just save it I'll just give it a name create site flow so now I'm going to my list again and I'm creating this list for example I want 
project ABC the title of that site with spaces and you know inside URL we would should not be having spaces so I'm just removing this and you can also have your logic in place in the flow itself if there are any white spaces coming then you can just remove it trim that down and make it a short URL so that logic you can bind up with any flow itself I'm skipping site owner part because it's not required and I'm just adding it's a project site for ABC once I'm saving it my flow should trigger all right so my flow has ran and just clicking on it so it's giving me all success I am going to my this site content I'll refresh it so as you know that we have created this subsite with project ABC name so now I have my subsite created if you open it, it will be uh, created with the same template which we have specified as team site, modern team site template. So this was pretty quick uh, video uh, to explaining how you can create the sub sites. Though in modern uh, SharePoint architecture, we would recommend to uh, have the flat structure. I mean, you can just have the site collections and you can do your work by making a connection making one site as hub site and connect all the site different site collection to that hub site but still in some cases you may want to create sub sites so i'm uh, rolling out that solution for those people who would like to have that uh, architecture in place so i hope uh, it's a useful video for you if you like it then please press like and comment below thank you